Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through how to calculate interest on a revolving line of credit using Excel. We'll look at daily balances, billing periods, and how interest charges are computed. This is especially useful if you manage credit lines or want to understand your loan costs better. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Here we have a simple but powerful spreadsheet I created, the Rotating Loan and Line of Credit Interest Calculator. A link to the files in the video description. Let's walk through the calculations first, then the functionality. This example uses a 9% annual rate, which I've keyed into cell E2. I'm using the standard Excel style for input, which, for better or for worse, is the salmon color. The average daily balance is calculated automatically with the average function. I'm making sure I pick up all the rows and make sure that you have a row for each day in the billing period, even if that balance is zero. Extend the formula down far enough to capture the days, but not the blank rows. The number of days in the billing period is just a count of each day. Similar to the average function, make sure you have a row for each day in the date column and extend the formula down far enough to capture just those days. I started on the first, but you don't have to. Just capture the days in your billing period and it will still work. The interest charge here is the daily interest rate or the annual rate divided by 365 times the average daily balance times the number of days in the billing period. In this case, $75.30. This is the standard interest calculation that's used by most banks and credit cards. As far as functionality goes, in the grid below, I'm using a $10,000 starting balance, and then each balance just flows from the ending balance in the row above. I keyed in a couple of payments. Here's a $600 payment. We have a $4,000 draw, and I've keyed a $3,000 loan payment later in the month here. So feel free to key in draws or payments and as long as you have a day for each of the ending, uh, ending balance for each day, it'll still calculate correctly. With this file, you should be able to calculate it, but there's one caveat. Since their system is calculating and charging the interest, the amount's going to be based on when they post the payment, not necessarily when you send or transmit it. Keep that in mind, and it's always best to confirm the balances with the lender online or through a, a paper statement if you happen to get one. Why is this helpful? Because small daily changes, like an early payment, reduces your interest. It can save you money, especially for juggling cash flow. If you're a small business or individual with a credit line, this tool can give you some visibility and control over your interest cost. That's all. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more finance tools and Excel automation tips. Thanks for watching.